Hello! Welcome back to another super cool video. And if you're new, hey, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you stay forever. Today, I wanna to talk about aromantic and asexual characters and how I want them to be written because my opinion is really important and I know everything about being a good writer. As an aromantic person myself, it's cool to see people going through a similar experience as me on the big screen, especially if it's something not as common as like being aromantic or asexual. And sometimes the uh, aromantic asexual representation is cool. And sometimes I'm like, okay, could've been better. A lot of people tell me that I should be happy with any sort of rep representation that I can get. But no, we're in 2024. We're in the time where LGBTQ representation is becoming more common. We're not just stuck being background characters or characters that are just queer for brownie points. You don't have to settle, fellow queer people. <laughs> you don't have to settle. You can be happy with having representation like, yay, we're on the big screen, but you can still want better representation. Like I made a video complaining about how I don't like the Heartstopper, Elroy's character, but there was a, a, a couple of people that were like, hey, you should be thankful that we're getting any representation at all. And I'm like, yeah, I am thankful, but that doesn't mean I should just shut up and accept any representation that I get. A lot of people don't like the Aries representation from Heartstopper. I still love you, okay? But you have to love yourself also. You don't have to settle. You can be happy with having representation and still want better for yourself and for the other people within the community. <laughs> and I would want better for and I would want better representation if the story chooses to go more in depth with the character. You know what I mean? Instead of the character being like a little background character you see every once in a while, maybe they're com a comedic relief. You know, we don't really know anything about them, but look at them. Look at them sitting over there eating their lunch. I don't know. One of the reasons why I'd be like background characters even if they don't really do anything, it's because they're kind of like a blank slate and they kind of don't really have a plot or a story. So you can kind of just leave their life up to your own interpretation or because they're a blank slate, you can kind of like self-insert if you want to. It is not that deep because the character is not that deep. But once the queer character or whatever starts becoming a main character with a plot and a story and more, you're saying more of their personality and more of their life, my expectations of what I want from the character is going to get higher because they're a main character. Now, let's get started with how I want Airways character to be written. Take what I say with a grain of salt because I'm not an expert character writer and I'm not an expert when it comes to anything. But anyways, yeah, let's get started. Don't make Airways characters lonely losers. Trust me, it's a thing that can happen. I mean, look at me. But it's a stereotype that people assume on Airways individuals. They assume that Airways people are gonna die alone and are lonely. Just because we're Airways, they assume that our lives are sad because it doesn't have any romantic or sexual activity going on. Like people just forget that family or friends exist and just having that in your life can be a life full of love. If you can't write a character whose life doesn't revolve around sex or romance, then maybe you you should, you know, go back to reading books about how to be a good writer. Number two. I didn't name the first one, but whatever. Number two. Don't always make Airways people awkward, asocial nerds. Another stereotype for Airways people is that we're all introverted nerds who are socially awkward, which is literally me, but it is not all asexual Airways people. Being an introvert or extrovert or a nerd or whatever has nothing to do with your sexuality. Number three. Not all Airways characters need to be going through an awakening. Sometimes I just want a character that is happy and an established Airways person who isn't going through the turmoil of figuring oneself out. Just out and proud and happy. Number four, I would like to see writers explore more Airways types and relationship dynamics. Sticking to the definition of what an asexual and aromantic person is a good start for the Airways community, but having more Airways characters that fall somewhere else on the Airways spectrum would be cool too. The people in the Airways community comes in all shapes and sizes. I, l I would love to see characters in the QPR, a queer platonic relationship. I've seen a movie that was close to it, but the ending kind of threw me off. It's the movie Straight Up. It's a good movie. It's just not what I was expecting. And I thought it would be like a, a cool representation of a QPR 
but then it ended up being different. It could still be similar or in the spectrum of QPR. Number five, number five, wait, whatever, just for fun. Uh, let's make the airways person super hot and social people always falling for them because they're charming and they're just an airways person who can't help but get bitches. They aren't like confused or anything. They're happily airways. People just end up falling for them because of their personality. I think that would be cool. I know that sex education kind of did that. I kind of liked how the character was really pretty and she was charming and she was asexual, but I don't know. That's all. This isn't like a checklist on how I want an airways character to be written. Some of these are just tropes that I'm tired of or tropes that I want to see more of. Hopefully you like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Also comment down below uh, any characters that you believe are good aromantic and or asexual representation from movies, shows, or even books and comics that you believe are well-written aromantic and or asexual characters or could be good representation if they were openly airways you know thanks so much for watching bye <laughs> bye